Do you know how much I love you? How much? This much. Flying around the world looking for you. said the storm's not moving out. I don't know. I think we're gonna get a break. The tower doesn't agree. They've advised last three aircraft have diverted. Well, we're gonna sit for a while. How we set on fuel? Well, one more turn around. The holding pattern could make things pretty interesting. If Dallas Control doesn't give us clearance to land pretty soon, we'll be coming down on our own. They gotta be so sick of hearing from me. Hello, folks. Guess who? It's Captain Rawlings again. Though Mother Nature's not very happy with us tonight. We're still waiting to hear from the Dallas Tower whether we have clearance to land. Uh, it should be just a few more minutes. Thank you very much for your patience. Well, this weather's getting worse. What do you think? Well, I think we gotta quit floating around up here. Yeah, this dog won't hunt. Let's divert to Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City? Ugh. Oh, I hate the hotel rooms in Oklahoma City. Get back on the horn again and see if approach control said the storm's moved at all. You know, I bet we can land on 3 1 right. Ask him. Dallas Approach, Cap Air 239. Requesting clearance for approach to runway 31 right. Now give me some good news. Saying visibility is still bad, but it looks like the storm's moving off to the west. They're giving us clearance for approach to 3 1 right. Ladies and gentlemen, looks as though we've got the weather break we asked for. Sit back and enjoy the smooth landing. Thank you very much for your patience. Flight attendants, prepare the cabin. You watch this stuff, isn't it? Let me turn this down. Let me turn it mute, of course. So, what's been happening? Got an A on my history paper. Oh, you did? Terrific. What about that application to Dorset Academy? Did you fill that out yet? Yeah, you and Mom need to sign it so I can send it in. We'd be proud to. Uh, it's just, I hope they give me that interview. Yeah, don't worry about it, huh? That's where I went to school, remember? You got good genes, you're a shoe in. Hey, there's an air show the 23rd. You interested? Sure. I'll get some tickets. Mom upstairs? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, Dad? Yeah. Don't forget, next week is your... Birthday? No. Well, it's Thanksgiving next week, isn't it? Come on, Dad. Was it your birthday? No. Oh. 
home. Anniversary. Right, right. Because Mom got you a nice present. She did, did she? I know. Yeah. Think you can beat your dad? Yep. Already you have. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah. I have a sandwich. So, have you finished filling out my application to Dorset yet? No. I wanted to talk to you about that first. About what? Well, if you go away to Dorset, you're going to be leaving home. I know your friends. You sure that's what you want to do with the next four years of your life? Yeah, I'm sure. Just because your dad went doesn't mean you have to go, you know. Mom. This is something I really want to do. Really? Really. Well, you better get me that application to sign then before I change my mind. Not now, after lunch. You, sir? Yeah, um, so you have. I'm looking for something special. This is one of the largest selections in Dallas. I don't know. Nothing seems to be quite right. Well, we do have a genuine LaSalle if you'd like to see it. Sure. Right this way. Ah, uh, yes. Here we are. Classic lines, solid sterling, only 300 and $49. Those are some beautiful pieces, aren't they? Yeah. Can I see that ring? Uh, this one? Yeah. Of course. A two carat emerald cut diamond with two one carat trillions. Perfect for that special occasion. Yeah. How much? Eighty-two hundred and fifty dollars. I'll take it. And the friend.
You think you'll be back in time Friday for the trunk sale at the store? Well, definitely. I wouldn't miss it. Thanks. Can I bring anything back from Hawaii? Just yourself. Well, I've probably managed that. Oh, honey, I, I need to ask you a favor. Sure. Would you bring the car in for a tune-up tomorrow? It needs it. I hate that sleazeball mechanic of yours. I know you do. Sometimes I think you love that car more than you love me. Well, just make sure you never make me choose between the two. I won't. You look nice. Thanks. I'll miss you. You always say that. I do? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I mean it. I hope so. Do you think we have time for something here? We better hurry. It's just really bad timing. I know. I'll see you Friday. Hurry home. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Rawlings. We're about to begin our descent into Honolulu. Skies are clearing and the temperatures are balmy, 72 degrees. Welcome to paradise. Mahalo. So what are you saying to dinner tonight? My turn. Oh, uh, you know, Mitch, sorry. I got some things I got to take care of. Well, are we still off for the golf game in the morning? Yeah, first thing in the morning. I'll see you there. Okay, well, bring some extra cash. I'm feeling lucky. The last time you said you were feeling lucky, I went home with your watch. Come on, come on. I don't believe it. I never play this bad. Well, at least you didn't kill anyone today. Yeah, but I'm getting tired of buying you all those watches. I want to tell you, I know this discount jeweler. Yeah, hey, he could yeah. probably be very yeah. funny. You've been looking for something? Hey. Hi. You left it on my nightstand last night. Oh, my beeper. Yeah, I've been looking for that all morning. This is Sally Hannaford. Sally, this is Nick Rollins. Hi, Sally. Hi, Nick. Miriam told me so much about you. Oh, don't believe a word she says. <laughs> it's my co-pilot. Mitch, this is Miriam Wells and her friend Sally. Hi. 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 Miriam's dad's a golf pro here. You should see her swing. Oh, can I say the man loves me for my golf game? You guys want to have lunch? Oh, I love to, but we tee off in five minutes. Oh, okay. But I'll see you tonight, huh? Yeah. Have fun. I will. You're amazing. What do you mean? Don't play dumb with me. You think I don't notice how you disappear into thin air every time we land in Chicago? And now there's Miriam? What's your point? My point is, you have a woman in every port and a wife at home to boot. I just don't know how you're going to pull it off. I'm hungry. Let's get some lunch. Almost $9,000. I found it in the trunk of Nick's car. You think this is going to be your anniversary present? What else? Do you have any idea what it could be? I don't have a clue. <laughs> He's been gone so much lately, I'm amazed he remembered. Oh, you gotta love a guy who's got his priorities straight. You know, in these days, I'm just going to toss that thing into the ocean. Nikki, I'm so glad I reached you. No, nothing's wrong. You know I wouldn't call if it wasn't important. Jacobson's flying in tomorrow night from California to discuss buying our software company. He's been dying to meet you ever since he found out you were a pilot. 
Now, he's bonkers about airplanes, Nicky, just bonkers. I think it would really help. It would make all the difference in the world if he were here. Nicky, do it for me. I need you tomorrow. That's awfully short notice. It's important. OK, OK. I need a flight out tomorrow morning. But I can't stay. I've got the flight to Dallas after dinner. Great. Great. Nikki, I love you. Love you, too. I'll see you tomorrow night. Oh, I know that look. Yeah. What happened? I gotta fly the morning round to Chicago tomorrow. What? <laughs> So I'm flying along and look up and there's a mountain. So I bank to the right and the stall light comes up. Oh. I think I'm going to just back this thing right into the mountain. Of course, it's not the same as big jumbo jobs that you fly. Harmon, you'd be surprised at how little difference there really is. Okay. I'll tell you what, next time you're in Dallas, why don't you let me know, huh? We'll spend a couple hours up in the 747 simulator. Get a feel for what it's really like. Can you do that? Sure. Now, that would be great. That'd be a lot of fun. Thanks. Sir? Problem? Oh, Nick doesn't answer his pager. It's the third time I've beeped him tonight. Maybe he didn't bring it with him. That's not like Nick. There's a I need money look if I ever saw one. Now, be firm. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mom. Miss Kelsey. How much? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Not uh, date? I wish. Tommy's brother's taking us to the mall. I want you home by 10.30. No problem. And button up your coat. It's freezing All outside. Right. Give me a kiss. Mm. Love you. Bye. Bye, Tommy. Bye. Drive safe. Eric looks more and more like his father every day. Where is your flyboy, anyway? I don't know. Hawaii, I think. I lose track. After 16 years of marriage, who can blame you? All the blue ones go, right? Uh -huh. Come on, Joe. If you had to do it all over again, would you still marry him? In a heartbeat. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, lucky me. Let me try to page him again. I can't remember when I've had a more enjoyable evening. I'm going to have the lawyers take care of the contracts next week. I think this venture is going to be good for all of us. Me too. Come on, Harmon. I'll walk you to the door. And Nick, I'm going to take you up on that flight simulator. That's going to be a good time. I'd love to show you the ropes. I appreciate it. Good night, Allison. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. You did it. We did it. We didn't. Mm. Oh, we could be calling you at this hour. It's my ex-wife. She wants to make sure that I'm on time in the morning. It's my turn to be with Eric. My flight's in an hour. Oh, you can take another flight. My call. Hey, your ex-wife can wait. Your wife needs you tonight.
I set the alarm for 6.30. It's after 11. It's okay. You can take a later flight. You don't understand. I have to be in Dallas right now. Hey. No, I'm sorry. It's just that my schedule's incredibly tight. So I've noticed. I'm doing the best I can. We should be happy. It was a great sale. I mean, look at we dumped all those, I mean, so many of those blue shirts. And uh, no, we've had whole week to pretend to do this much business. Oh, here's the frequent flyer. You know, I just remembered I have to organize my sock track. You know. Something you are. Well, the sight of blood, you know. Hey. Hey. Hi, Pat. How you Nick. doing? Hi. Sorry I'm late. Late? was hours ago. Well, if I could have helped it, believe me, I would have. Keep talking. Well, the plane I was coming back on last night broke down and it took the ground crew most of the night to repair it. I paged you six times. You didn't answer a single call. The battery in my pager went out last night and I just decided to wait till I got to the airport before I repaired it. I have been so worried about you. You could have been dead for all I know. Are you guys fighting? No, we're not fighting. Then why doesn't anybody say anything? Well, Eric, your mother's a little put out with me. I was in Honolulu yesterday and I didn't call in. Oh, man. If I pulled a stunt like that, you guys would grill me for a month. Two months. Excuse me. Thanks for the help. May I be excused? Yes. Me. I'm still mad at you. Excuse me. It was wrong of me not to check in with you. Yes, it was. And you know that I'd never do anything in the world to hurt you. I know that. And you know that deep down I'm really, 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 really sorry. I know that, too. Then will you forgive me? Please? I can never stay mad at you for very long. Well, that's good, because we have a very big date tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. Really? What would that be? You had better not forget our anniversary. How can I forget the most important day of your life? My life? <laughs> My life? Did you say my life? You didn't mean that, did you? Too bad you had to leave so soon. Uh, there are a couple of things back home in California that need my attention. I can't tell you how pleased we are that this deal is available. Not half as pleased as I am. My company believes in treating us people like family, and I am really happy to be welcoming you and Nick into the fold. Why, thank you, Harmon. I'm sure Nick will be as pleased to hear that as I am. Quite a husband you've got. Yes, I noticed that the two of you got along quite well the other night. It's a shame, really, that you have separated so much of the time. It must be hard on you. Well, we've adjusted, but I don't think I'll ever get used to it. What if we made life a little easier for the both of you?
I'm gonna have to ask you to move that car. Oh, I'm sorry. Say, I hit something there. You're Nick Rowland's co-pilot, aren't you? Yeah, guilty as charged. Rich Burns. Go well. Very well, Ted. I thought you guys were flying to Chicago. We were. I mean, uh, Nick did. I was kept here on a layover to fly a charter back this weekend. Then Nick and I will hook up in Dallas next week. You know, I don't know how you guys do it. Flying here, flying there. Not knowing where you're going to be one day to the next. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. That's what I was afraid of. Look, you probably know that your friend Nick has been seeing a lot of my daughter when he flies into Honolulu. <laughs> it's not like they're getting married or anything. That's not what Miriam tells me. Look, nothing personal. But I'm not sure your friend Nick is the right man for Miriam. I've got to get back to the pro shop. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Oh, and uh, don't forget to move the car. Not tonight, anyway. Happy anniversary. Whoa, what do you got here? Open it. It's beautiful. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, thank you so much. Close your eyes. On the original in my drawer made me fall in love with you all over again. Oh, sweetheart. Do you really like it? I love hmm? it. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Come on, let's go upstairs. We'll clean up in the morning. This is what he spent $9,000 on at the jewelry store? Obviously not. Well, then what'd he spend all that money on? Well, either he spent it on himself or he spent it on somebody else. Other than that, I don't have a clue. Oh, yes, you do. Where's that receipt?
May I help you? I hope you can. Uh, a customer of yours, Nick Rawlings, purchased two gifts for me here last week. Oh, yes. I remember Mr. Rawlings very well. The frame and the ring. You must be very happy. Words can't express it. May I assume you're here to have the ring sized? No, I'm not. It's a long story, but I lost the ring. You lost it? Oh, I'm so sorry. I appreciate that. So, as you can understand, I, I want to replace it as soon as possible. Well, certainly, madam. My insurance company uh, said I'd have a check this week, and I just wanted to see if maybe you had another like it in stock. The original was, of course, one of a kind, but... Well, this should be close enough. It was one of the finest engagement rings we have ever handled. So, what? Nick is going to divorce me and there's somebody else? Don't start jumping to conclusions just yet. Well, what are the conclusion is there? We're a family. I'm going to kill him. That's not how I handle it. So what would... What would you do? I would go home and do nothing. What? Listen, I've had enough experience to know that if you go home and confront Nick, he's going to have an excuse all ready to go. So, so what do I do? You need to keep closer tabs on your husband. The man thinks you're going to marry his daughter. I don't want to hear any more about Bill Wells. I was not kidding around. Can I help it if an attractive young woman finds me irresistible? This isn't funny, Nick. This is a man who takes a very serious interest in his daughter's life. Yeah, well, so do I. But you're making something out of nothing. I happen to think a lot of your wife, you know. I mean, Joe Beth would kill me if she knew I was covering for you. Listen, Mitch, I love my wife, all right? There's nothing in the world I would do to hurt Joe Beth, but this has nothing to do with her. You really believe that, don't you? Absolutely. Well, I hope she never has to find out. How long are you going to stay mad at me anyway? Hmm? I haven't decided yet. Well, I already told you that I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for you to have to deal with Marion's father like that. I never do anything like that on purpose. I promise you, I'll never let anything like that happen again. Why don't I believe you? Hello, how are you? Hi.
Are you sure this guy's gonna screw up? I've been through three marriages and three divorces. Mickey Braddock has never let me down before. But he doesn't even have an office. How could he do business like that? Who cares how he does it? The man delivers. I still feel strange hiring a private investigator. Well, something would be wrong with you if you didn't feel strange. Is that the guy? That's him. Right there. You go on. I'll wait. Mrs. Roberts? Mickey Braddock? Yeah. Just calm down now, little lady. I'm sorry, I've never done this before. <laughs> Is this the stuff I asked you to bring? Uh, it's a recent photograph of Nick, his social security number, his driver's license number, and his credit card numbers. It's all in here. Okay, this should give me a good start. Does your husband keep a regular schedule? Well, if you can follow Pilot's schedule regular, he's based here in Dallas, but he splits his time between Honolulu and Chicago. What is it makes you think your husband not being honest with you, Ms. Robbins? I know my husband bought an engagement ring. And I saw him with another woman in Chicago. I want to know who she is. That's fine. Before you know it, you're going to know more about Nick Rawlings than Nick Rawlings does. Yeah, two o'clock's great. Uh-huh. No, not, not the big car. I need a, a smaller thing. I'm not really good with parking, you know. And put on my credit card. I want the extra miles. Thanks, Vera. Bye. Going somewhere? How much did you hear? Just enough to know that you're going somewhere without me. Mmm, I should have known I couldn't keep a secret from you. I'm moving to Dallas. You what? It's part of the deal. Harmon's relocating me. Well, why would he want to do that? Well, for one reason, it's a good business decision. He's got his businesses spread all over the place, and he wants to put them all in one spot. But do you have to make the move? I don't have to make the move. I want to make the move. I think it's time we started living like a normal married couple together. Well, it's been three years. I haven't even seen your son. I don't think he knows I exist. Of course he does. He's just still very angry about the divorce. And I think I've been more than patient about the situation. Harmon's been very nice to do this for us. I thought you'd be happy. Well, I, I am. Alice. Yeah. Listen. Sounds like it. I'm very happy. It just took me by surprise, that's all. Are you really happy? Yes. Good. Mm. 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 Give me that. I mean, it's, it's the airline. I'll, 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 my schedule's in the bedroom. I'll call him from there. Miriam, honey, what is it? No, no, I'm going to be arriving right on schedule. Yes. Well, of, of course I love you very much. Yes, I miss you too. All right. I can't wait. I'll see you. Tell you, I get the distinct impression that your father is not very wild about me. Well, I mean, can you blame him, really? I mean, here's this really good-looking pilot, right? He blows through town every couple of weeks, sweeping his only daughter off her feet, and then, boom, he's gone just as quickly. But I want him to know how I feel about you. And how do you feel about me? Well, you're okay. I mean, you're starting to grow on me. Oh. I wouldn't mind spending the rest of my life with you. Oh, you're just so sweet. <laughs> Oh, but really, I mean, I don't think he's going to change his mind until you do something. Do something? Well, what am I doing? You're just, like, living to please your father? You know, I'm not that kind of guy. And besides, what would you suggest that I do? I don't know. Oh, my God! <laughs> you like it? Do you? I, I don't know what to say. You're supposed to say yes. Well, then, yes. <laughs> yes. 
You are the most wonderful man in the whole world. Do you know that? Actually, it's starting to sink in on me, yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I love you. Then let's get married next week. Next week? Yes, next week, because it's perfect. We can get married on your next layover, and then there'll still be a little time left over for a little honeymoon. Well, honey, listen, I mean, that, that, that's a little fast, isn't it? Don't you think we should wait a while? Why wait? Well, well because, I mean, it would, I don't know. Wouldn't you like to enjoy being engaged for a little while and plan a big wedding? You know, that takes some time. A big wedding? I don't need a big wedding. Look, all I care about is being Mrs. Nick Rollins. And the sooner, the better. Hi, you beautiful. Hi, how was Hawaii? Oh, it's nothing out of the ordinary. You okay? I'm fine. You sure? I'm sure. I don't want to cover you in green pepper. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. How's everything around here? Uh, Eric got a letter from Dorset. They want him to take the exam. Oh, that's great. Where is he? He's in the living room studying. Exam. My guidance counselor's going to give it to me Friday. It's cool. Oh, Friday. I'm so proud of you. Well, Robert passed the exam, yeah. Well, that's all right. You're going to get the first cut. See, that's the way Hello. It's just the test has me so nervous. Ah, come on, huh? Don't worry about it. Now, you're going to be fine, okay? Now, I believe in you. You put your mind to it, you can do anything you want. This Dorset Academy, huh? Hey, they're the lucky ones because they're getting you. Hey, we got a great day. What do you want to do, huh? Shoot some hoop? Sure. I want you to know I've been practicing, okay? Yeah. Feeling yeah, hot today. Feeling hot today. Oh. Very hot. Okay, thank you. I'll be right down. Who's on the phone? Uh, that was the alarm company. There's a problem at the store, and I have to go down there for a second. Hey, you want me to go with you? Uh, no, thanks. You stay here with Eric. I'll be right back. I am now going to absolutely bury you. You hear me? You did me. No, yeah? Come on. You show me what you got. Every... I have to change. Good idea. Here's what we've uncovered so far. It's a complete breakdown of your husband's financial dealings. I have to say, your husband's awfully easy to track. He never uses cash for anything. Lives on those credit cards of his. Nick spent a lot of time trying to cover his tracks, trying to hide his assets, but he's heavily invested in CDs. He's also an equal partner in a computer software company in Chicago. Son of a bitch. Yeah, well, there's something else you should know, ma'am. Your husband is not having an affair with that woman in Chicago. Nick and Allison Carter Rawlings are man and wife. Nick is married. Okay. 1918. No, 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 no. 2018, me. No, 1918. It's 20. Remember the last layup? I yelled out 2018. 2018, game point, me. Fine. Is that the phone? No. Oh! No, no, game no, dad. no, no, no. Game dad. Game dad. Yes, right. Dribble. Take a look Double at something. Dribble. You see the court? Look Double at it. Dribble. This is dad's court. The Just take court. a look at it Son's because court. I own it. That's right. It's Son's mine. Son's I didn't know if your mother was calling to see if you were getting beaten too badly. Maybe your friends were calling to see if you needed some help. I'm going to take every advantage I can, kid. Hey, Dad. Hmm? Are you and Mom having problems? Why do you ask that? Well, it's just that ever since your last trip to Chicago, she's been acting different. Really? A while ago, I thought I even heard her crying. Well, you know, she watches those old movies. They get her every time. I guess so. Listen, I have a flight out tonight. When I get back to town, I'll sit down with her and see what's on her mind, OK? All 
I'm proud of you. Proud of what? That my marriage is a farce? <laughs> That's Nick's choice, not yours. This is taking every ounce of strength that I have. Take it from an old pro. The sooner you come to grips with this, put it behind you, the better off you are. You gonna be okay? Yeah. I just need some time to figure this out. You know, what Nick is doing is against the law. He could get serious jail time for this. Nick is no good to me in jail. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. By the time I am finished with that man, he is going to wish that he never looked at another woman, much less married one. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Familiar? Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's just, I spent so much time trying to talk you guys into this. What if I don't get in? You don't get in? You don't get in? Is that the end of the world? No. I guess you're right. Yeah, I'm right. Let's go. We both got a lot to do today. Don't give it another thought, Mrs. Rawlings. People misplace their checkbooks all the time. Well, it's really more embarrassing than anything else. Right. Your new account is open. Your new checks and your new ATM cards will be shipped to you overnight. Thank you. Now, what if somebody tries to use my old ATM card? It won't do them any good. So please, make sure you let your husband know. Oh, I will. Come in. Hey. I've been looking all over for you. We tee up in like 15 minutes. Let's go. Oh, right, right. Listen, I got a toothache that hit me this morning. Look, right, go ahead, come here. Killing me. I got a dentist. I want to see this morning. I can't make it. Is there anything I can do for you? No, no. Huh? All right, man. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Okay. All right? Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Surely, this is perfect. This development will be one of the most exclusive in Dallas. Hey, judging from your pre-qualifying papers, you should have no trouble getting in at all. Well, that's very good to hear. Wow, is this a pool? Mm, yes, ma'am. Look at the design. Great. Gosh, I've got to get in touch with my husband. He's on a flight to Hawaii. He's... Well, I'm expecting another offer this afternoon. Really? Hmm. How far is this from the airport? Only 30 minutes. Nikki will love it. Miriam, the first time I saw you, I fell in love with you. You give me comfort and joy every time I hear your voice. You renewed my life, and today we join our lives together. I give you my hand and my heart and my soul, and I trust I'll be safe with you always. Nick, I will love you always, and I will be with you forever. <laughs> With the power vested in me by Almighty God in the state of Hawaii, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Not a problem. We're always happy to expedite an account of this size. And after all, it is your money. Yes, it is, isn't it? If you'll sign here and here, I'll have your stock portfolio transferred from your former brokerage firm into your new account here with us. Well, it's a pleasure doing business with you, Mrs. Rollins. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you.
Are you happy? Hilariously. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go talk to Sally for a minute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gentlemen. Congratulations. Oh, Nick. thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, if you'll excuse me just a minute. Sure. Congratulations, Phil. Great party. Well, I know Miriam wanted a private ceremony, but uh, my little baby's only going to get married once. I'm sorry your friend couldn't make it. Oh, me too. Yeah, I wanted Mitch to stand up for me, but he's got a bad case of stomach flu. He's stuck in the hotel. That's too bad. Listen, Nick, I'm a hard man to keep a secret from. Miriam told me that your son doesn't approve of your remarrying. Well, he's very close with his mother, very protective. They have a strong bond. I can understand that. After the splitting up, I realized that it affected him as much as it affected us. Sometimes change is hard to accept, no matter how old you are. Bill, I understand it's going to be hard for you to accept me as a son-in-law, but I guarantee you that I'm going to make Miriam as happy as she makes me. See that you do. Daddy, come on. Excuse me. Sure. Very much. I'll look for the replacement cards in the mail. I don't know what I did with those cards. You've been so helpful. Thanks very much. Well, that is it. <laughs> hey, what's going on? You don't look very good. Oh, I think I'm just exhausted from all this. Oh, I'd love to see the look on Nick's face the next time he tries to use one of these credit cards. Honey, would you settle down? How long does it take to check into a hotel, huh? Well, I think it's only going to be another minute. I'll take care of it. I'm sorry, Mr. Rawlings, but this card has been canceled. I've been asked to confiscate it. Well, that's impossible. I used that card earlier to guarantee my reservation. All I know is what I was told, sir. Would you like to try another card? Oh, my. What is it? It's the same code I got on the previous card, sir. I'm afraid I'll need to confiscate this one, Oh, no. G give me a phone. I'm getting to the bottom of this right now. Thank you very much. It's okay. No, Here, it's not. Oh, put it's that okay. away. It's okay. <laughs> Here. Very well, madam. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. I'll straighten all this out in the morning. I have other plans for tonight. Might be an opportunity to go Yes, I'm still here. They weren't canceled. I keep telling you that. I'm Nick Rawlings. My mother's maiden name was Beecham. I mean, I don't know how else to prove this to you. My wife canceled the cards. All of them? Thank you. here right now, but leave a message and we'll call you back. Wait till after the beep. Joe Beth, the credit card company called and said that you canceled all my cards. Now, what the hell's going on? Joe Beth, when you get this message, I need you to page me as soon as you can. Hey, sweetie, what was that all about? Uh, the credit card company. I can't use any of them. My ATM card, nothing. I mean, this is crazy. What the hell is going on? Miriam, I'm so sorry. I feel terrible about this. What? I mean, it's not your fault that the credit card company is messed up on your account. No, but this is our honeymoon. I want this to be perfect. I don't want it to end like this. Oh, yeah? Well, who says it has to end? You know, I have to fly to Dallas tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna go with you. Your what? Yeah, as a wedding gift, Daddy bought me a plane ticket to go with you to Dallas. <laughs> 
I couldn't stand being away from you for two whole weeks. Nick. Just give me a minute, honey. Listen, honey, what is it? Nikki, I found it. You found what? Our house in Dallas. You're still coming home tomorrow, aren't you? Y yeah. Yeah, I'll be there first thing in the morning. Good. I can't wait for you to see it. Are you excited as I am? I'm thrilled. Sweetie, I'm getting hungry. Uh, honey, listen, I'm in a big hurry right now, so I'll, I'll talk to you first thing in the morning, okay? Nikki, I love you. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about it? He's been over here to Dallas. He has bought her a house two blocks from our house. Can you imagine Eric on his bank route? Can you just imagine that? Well... Can I help you? I'm sorry. I was supposed to meet my husband to look at the house. I must have the wrong address. Oh, well. Maybe it's the house at the end of the block. I'm expecting to close on this the end of the week. Hey! Oh! oh. <laughs> nice throw, fellas. Hi. I'm Allison Rawlings. Um, Pat Kelsey, how are you? Great. Are you new to Dallas? Yes, I am. Moving from Chicago. My husband's an airline pilot. He's based here. Oh, he must spend a lot of time away. Yes, he does. But after three years of marriage, I still like it that way. Well, sometimes, anyway. And you, how long have you been married? Sixteen years. Any children? One. Uh, we have a son. You know, my husband has a son with his ex-wife. Really? Yeah. The boy lives here with her. Oh, how convenient. Very convenient. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, too. Hey, good luck with your house. I can't believe you went over there. I wanted to see her for myself. What did you say to her? It was kind of strange. I went over there wanting to scream at her. When she opened the door and I saw her, I couldn't do it. Why not? Because she's not so tootsie as heavy. She's a nice, normal woman, just like me. She's not that sorry. Yep. Nice ride. Jerry, for sure. Sure you want to sell it? Positive. You got the papers? Yep, right here. Made out to you, just the way you asked. Nick and I sure had a lot of fun in this car. Now's not the time to get sentimental. Take it away.
you need? Mm. How, how's Mitch feeling? Oh, not so good. Oh, well, I brought him some soup. I thought it might help settle his stomach. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I'll make sure he gets it. Well, can I take it to him? No, no, no. He's on with the tower right now. Maybe when we land, okay? Here you are, right here. Here you go. I love you. Have a nice flight, huh? Mm, you too. Everyone. Yeah, Tommy, Eric, I got in. Yeah. You think your brother could take us to the airport? Are you nuts? What was I supposed to do? Miriam's a big girl. She can come and go as she pleases. I, I didn't know what to say to her. Yeah, well, I guess telling her the truth out of the question. You know, I thought I could count on you. You can count on me, but I have to draw the line somewhere. You're going to self-destruct, and when you do, it is not going to be pretty. All I need is to use your apartment for a couple of days. No, what you need is a psychiatrist. Mitch. No. You got yourself in this. You can get yourself out. I'm a little in over my head. I'm asking you for your help. I'm asking you. Please. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. But just this once. Because somebody's going to get hurt, namely your wife and son. I won't be a party to that. Take Miriam on a sightseeing tour of Dallas. Try to kill as much time as I can. I need you to get to the apartment and take care of things for me. All right, but you owe me big time. I know, I know. Thanks. I was a kid at home, 57, T-Bird. It's my pride and joy. Hey, listen, what do you say we put the top down and uh, 
And on the way home, I show you the sights of Dallas. Okay, whatever you want to do. Okay. The honey? Yeah. My feet hurt. Let's go to the car. So how much farther is it to the it's car? It's just one aisle over. Come on. right there. Congratulations. You just bought yourself a new house. Thank you. God, if our lives here are as easy as buying this house, Nick and I will have it made. A little bit farther. my car, Chris. Tell me there's a perfectly good explanation why my car isn't where it's supposed to be. Easy! There sure is, Mr. Long. Your wife had a toad earlier today. Did he say your wife? He meant ex-wife. Why? Do you owe her money or something? No, I don't owe her money. You know, this is unbelievable. You have the son who hates me, and now this ex who goes and steals your car. Shut up! You know, if you ask me, I think we ought to lock her up. Let me handle this, all right? I think the first thing we ought to do is just get to the apartment, okay? Okay. Taxi! What's this? I'm giving you the store. You're kidding. I'm serious. I've done all the financial damage I can do to Nick. Now it's time for me to bite the bullet and call your divorce lawyer. Okay, but why are you giving me the store? Because I built this business from scratch. And I will be damned if he gets half of it in the divorce settlement. Okay. Whenever you want the store back, all you have to do is ask. Can I buy you coffee? Oh. I'm going home to tell Eric. I want him to hear it from me. lives in the building. Oh, you never mentioned that to me before. Well, he just moved in. Well, we're going to have to get him a housewarming gift then. Absolutely. You know, we really missed you at the wedding. Wedding? Hey, how's that stomach flu? 
I hope the soup helped. He ate every bite. Look, uh, I really need to run. I'll see you around. All right. He still acts like he isn't feeling well. Yeah, he's not. Just be patient. Oh, let me in. There you go. <gasps> oh, my God. Nick, it's so beautiful. <gasps> Yeah, well, when you described your apartment, you made me believe it was some kind of dump or something. Well, life is full of surprises. So, you think you can make yourself at home here for a few days? For a few days? How about forever, huh? <laughs> Let's just start with a few days. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of good ideas on how to get started. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Really plenty of time for this later, okay? I gotta get to the bank and work out my credit cards and try to track down my car. Now? Hello, son. Hi, baby. How are you? Yeah, of course I'm dying. Don't I'm dying to see the house. Absolutely, you crazy. Taxi! Look, I'll be there in about an hour, okay? But I can't. So what you're saying is you let her waltz in here and shut down every ounce of credit that I had. It's standard procedure. And you close both the checking and savings account and put the new ones in her name. The ATM cards are tied to both accounts. Again, this is standard procedure. Well, your standard procedure left me 5,000 miles from home without a penny to my name. Perhaps you should be having this conversation with Mrs. Rawlings. I'll be right back. Hey! <laughs> I love it. That's great. Perfect. Great? Come on, yeah. come to the inside. All right, I don't have a lot of time. Oh, that's okay. It's very white. I it? like it. Yeah, it's nice. You should have called me. Your dad's plane came in hours ago. Yeah. Well, wasn't he on it? Did you miss him at the gate? No. I saw him all right. What happened? Are you and dad getting a divorce? Of course not. He... He was... With some woman, kissing her on the mouth. Honey, no, don't. That's why you were crying. You knew and you didn't tell me. I didn't know I had to tell you. You love your daddy so much. I hate him. I hate you both. Here. Here. I was scared. I was scared to tell you. All I wanted to do was tell him about Dorset. I was afraid he'd see me. How was he with him? Mom? I don't know. 
sometimes grown-ups do really stupid things. Joe Beth Rawlings. We really need to talk to each other. May I come in, please? Uh, sure. Come on in. What the hell is this? I've never seen a trap like this before. Yeah, honey. What is it? Nothing. I was, I was just wondering when you're planning on coming home. Uh, I've got one more stop to make, and I'll be home as soon as I can. All right? Good, because I'm starting yeah. to get hungry. Okay. Why? Well, I, I know. Just hang in there, and I'll be home before you. Know, all right? Okay. Bye. When Nick calls back. Put an end to this silly little joke of yours. It's not a silly little joke. I'm telling you the truth. I don't believe you. One day you show up saying you're Pat someone, and now you're claiming that we're both married to the same man? Try to understand that this is about more than you and Nick and me. My son saw you kissing his dad at the airport today. The airport? Yes. I wasn't at the airport. I've been here all day dealing with decorators. Well, Eric said he saw his dad kissing a woman at the airport. Well, it wasn't me. Can I see your engagement ring? Everything. What are you talking about? I saw you at the airport. Eric. I, I did. Mom's had a heart attack.
Mary, it's Mitch. Is Nick there? No. Any idea where he is? No, I have no idea. Look, Mitch, why don't you tell me what the hell's going on here? All right, listen, when he comes in, tell him to get to Memorial Hospital as soon as he can. Why? What happened? Well, they just brought Nick's wife into the ER. You mean his ex-wife? Well, nothing ex about her, sweetheart. Joe Beth had a massive heart attack, so when he comes in, tell him to get over there pronto. Excuse me, I'm looking for Joe Beth Rawlings. I'm sorry, you're not supposed to be here. I understand that. The way room on the other side. I'm Mr. Rawlings, and I'm looking for Joe Is this Beth. Mr. Rawlings, family? Yes, I'm Mr. Rawlings. Is my mom going to be okay? Well, we've got her stabilized for the moment now. We're going to take her in for a heart cath shortly. Could we see her now? Mrs. Rawlings said the only person to be allowed to see her would be her son. You, Eric? Yeah. We've got her in the cardiac care unit. You want me to take you in there to see her? Yeah. Would you wait over there, please? Yeah. Allison. Nikki. What are you doing here? I was with her when she had the heart attack. She came to the house to tell me about you. I know everything, Nick. Joe Beth, me, your little hula dancer. So it's all a bunch of lies, isn't it? Everything, your divorce, your son not wanting to meet me. Even the apartment, it's Mitch's, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, well, you better have a damn good excuse for all this. I think he's fresh out of excuses. Who is this woman? I'm his wife. Well, wait a minute. I thought that your wife had a heart attack. That's what Mitch said on the phone. She did have a heart attack. There are three of us? And you know what? You know, when my father gets through with you, you're going to wish you were in hell. I wish I never met you. How sad. Allison. Allison, where are you going? Back to Chicago. Maybe I can talk Jacobson into not relocating. Allison. Nikki. I always knew you were too good to be true. Catch up with you later. Nick? Hey, Mitch. Hi. hi how are you? Hey, great. How's the San Francisco run? Oh, it's good. It's good. It's uh, it's it's different, but you know, it's okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, Eric. He uh, he's just leaving for set. I called at the house, but he still wouldn't speak to me. Screwed up a good thing, Nick. You even had me fooled. I thought you loved Joe Beth. I loved them all. She didn't have to marry them all. Why did you? I guess I was just afraid of losing one of them. Let me see what that got you. 
Lost them, all three of them. Well, I'll see you. Just arriving? I'm departing. I have a conference in LA, but I live here. So do I. Thanks. No. I'm Marianne Chambers. Oh, hi. Nick Rowland. Hi. I'll have a nice flight. Oh, okay. Nick, um, I don't normally do this, but I'll be gone for about a week, and I'd love it if you called me sometime. See ya. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> 